This is Justice. I am back again with another episode. This episode is about Not Your Ghana Girl. Yes, Not Your Ghana Girl. That's the episode about. It's just a five minute video I'm going to make about this girl. Yeah, this girl, she actually, when she came to move to Ghana, when she repatriated Ghana, she used to be, oh, she used to complain. I used to watch her video. She was used to complain a lot. She used to complain so much with anger, with frustration, with frustration. But anyway, she calmed down now. But anyway, before I go further with the video, please subscribe to the Mr. Justice channel and leave your comment. Yeah, not your Ghana girl. Actually, she she wasn't the only person that complained. Actually, when people when the diaspora were now nah, were repatriated to Ghana uh, to Africa. To the continent i mean those diaspora was complaining i mean all of them was complaining the number one people who complained was the black american african-american they call it all that was black american and the people from uk from europe also they were complaining to especially from uk uk also people was the second people who were complaining about africa when they were you know repatriated but the black american they don't scared to express themselves because they carry a lot of emotion feelings, so they always have to express themselves. They usually, always express themselves with, with when it comes to black and black people. But you know, they don't do that with white people and stuff. But anyway, yeah, the UK people was also the second people that were complaining after the black American who were going to complain. So, but for the UK people, they 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 were kind of a little bit respectful. They were a little bit respectful because UK is kind of a little bit tight. I mean, Europe is more tight, close to Africa than whatever, to, to Europe, than America. So, so uh, the people who in Europe, they know the system in Africa. They know what's going on. Some of them come with vacation most of the time to Africa, and, you know. So they know a lot about Africa. Most of the people in the UK, they know a lot about Africa than the people who in America. The American people didn't know, a lot of black Americans didn't know anything about Africa. But now they start learning since the internet, people start repatriating, they start learning. Now they start learning a little bit about Africa, start to know how many countries in Africa the black Americans start know before they didn't know shit, anything about Africa. But today they learn a lot, so they will tell you the black American will, will lie and tell you about say, Yeah, I, yeah, we know, I know about Africa. That's a lot. Anyway, the video is about, and uh, I'm now going to talk about, go, talk about uh, black American. It's, and uh, not your Ghana girl. Yeah, she used to complain a lot when she moved. She's a, I think so she's a Ghanaian. Her parents are Ghanaian. And I think so she was born in the UK. And um, she used to complain with she used to complain with anger, frustration. Everything just get on her nerve. It's like a, she I don't know, she was having a little bit she have a little bit mental problem with or anger, whatever emotion. She saw emotion, everything. I remember one of her videos how she would complain about when she go to the market trying to buy things in the supermarket or at the marketplace and then she complained about the price oh man the price is too high whatever and stuff like that she be complaining say why they don't put the price why they don't be putting the price why they don't label the price on all the acting on the on the on the stuff they're selling why african people doesn't do that well a lot of people always say the same thing why people why africa people don't press the price in africa is about negotiating if you go to the marketplace trying to buy stuff in the market it's a negotiation you have to negotiate. Example right now, if the stuff costs 15, 15 Ghana City, you can negotiate to bring that price down to 10, 10 Ghana City. So that's why in the whole Africa, most of the most most of the African country is like that, especially at the marketplace. It's a negotiate. Everything gotta negotiate. In the West, you cannot negotiate. In, you complain about whatever what Africa don't label the press. In the West, in the West, like that, if you if they label the press. If it's a twenty dollar or a twenty pound, you cannot go and say you can't go and tell the store manager say, oh, reduce the price down, trying to you know negotiate the price. You would just buy, right? But in Africa, it's different. So that's the difference between Africa not labeling the price, not putting the price tag, and between whatever and the West. You know what I'm saying? So that's the the secret. If you don't know the secret, that's really why Africa does not whatever. You gotta negotiate. Anytime they give you the price, you gotta bring that price that you gotta negotiate. And bring the price down. So that's a different picture. But yeah, not your Ghana girl. She decided 
after her complaining, she complained, she complained, she know her complaint is not going to take her nowhere. So she decided to just go with the flow, go with the flow and just, just adapt to the, 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 the Ghana culture, you know, adapt to the Ghana culture and, uh, and go with the flow and just everything that the Ghanaians do and just go with the culture and just do with the flow, you know, just go with the flow, not complain no more. Yeah. Since she start complaining, everything start going pretty good. I guess the more you complain, that the more things gonna get bad for you. So if you start complaining, maybe everything will start going pretty good for you. I think so. Some of the Black Americans also they don't complain too much. So I heard now, you know, things kind of a little bit calm for them, you know. So yeah, Ghana natural girl, she does not complain no more. She just, she just living the, you know, the Ghana, you know, Ghana dream, African dream, whatever and stuff like that, and just doing her thing, being all little house, and she getting there. She almost finished it. And so yeah, her complaint didn't take her nowhere. She realized that if she stopped complaining and just do and just go with the flow and adapt to the culture and life will be more easy for her. So she she gets smart and she put that complaint, that anger, that frustration, that depression she building used to have. She put it, she put it to the step and boom. Now life is seem that it's going pretty good for her. But she still she she's still a little bit <laughs> I don't know she's still a little bit complete she's gonna get angry a little bit angry when she when she bang her she's got a little bit frustrated but not too much before like before all right this is your boy Mr Justice subscribe to the channel so I just want to talk about this the video is about Nacho Ghana girl who you know repatriated for UK and you know they're gonna learn <laughs> actually the diaspora they're gonna learn just gonna give them some time they all gonna learn they're gonna adapt to African culture we just got to give this some time all right this is your boy again mr justin subscribe to the channel and leave your comment